The second in our series of Telegraph Herald books on the 1950s has a full serving of Americana. We feature photos of some of Dubuque's drive-ins, including the car hops, and touch on some of the fads of the day. Coonskin caps were all the rage, fueled by the Davy Crockett movie and TV shows. And in the summer of 1958, the hula hoop craze hit Dubuque. Every kid wanted one, and a contest held at the University of Dubuque drew 500 participants. Of course, there is also an obsession with rockets and outer space, sparked by Russia's launch of Sputnik and the ensuing space race with the U.S. Dubuque even had its own group of beatniks, characterized as young, artistic, nonconformists. But one of the most notable and impactful events from the latter half of the decade was the opening of Wallard High School. This was in tandem with the closing of four other Catholic high schools in Dubuque. Loris Academy, St. Colin Kill High School, Immaculate Conception Academy, and St. Joseph Academy. Priests and sisters made up a good share of the faculty and staff at Wallert. And it might seem odd today, but guns were allowed on campus, courtesy of the Junior ROTC program. The school opened in August 1959. We feel we've captured a good cross-section of Dubuque's culture and history in the 1950s. We hope you'll enjoy the book.